Hello everyone. So in this video, let us talk about the third problem from the latest code forces round A23 problem name minimum notation. So the problem statement goes like this that you're given a string S consisting of digits from zero to line inclusive, and you can perform the following operation any number of times. Now what is the operation? You can choose any position I and delete a digit D at that particular position. So you can choose any digit, delete it out. After deleting it out, you have to insert a new digit, which is the minimum of D plus one or nine. And you can insert it at any at any other position. Okay, so you can just you will delete out number. Whatever number you delete out, you will add that number plus one. And whatever the number plus one or nine, whatever is minimum, you will take out the number and insert it at any position. And after doing this operation multiple times, you have to find out the lexicographically smallest string you can get out. That's the whole problem. Okay, now uh, it might seem very difficult for you, like maybe you're confusing how you can start with first type problem. But for any problem, okay, till C. Try to find out some examples, try to see, try to find out patterns and it will become more clear to you and more easy for you. If I just, if you just write on five or six examples now and try to see and find out patterns, it will really become very easy for you. Okay, let's take this example only. Can I copy this out? Copy this out. Okay. Let's move the code. Paste it. Okay. So if I've pasted this. Okay. okay, what you can observe from here is that I want to find out the lexicographically smallest string. Lexicographically smallest means that the smallest number should be coming in the very first. Okay, the next thing is that if I replace any digit, let's say if I want to replace 2, let's assume that if I replace 2, then I will re remove 2 from this string. Like if I take, let's say I want to remove this 2. Okay, I will take this 2 and it will be deleted from this particular position, but I have to insert this new number inside this at any position the new number will be 2 plus 1 that is 3 comma 9 whatever is the minimum that is 3 so i will insert 3 at any position now now what you'll understand is that because i want to minimize i want to find out the lexicographically smallest string if i delete out 2 and i want to insert 3 what is the benefit because it will increase the string lexicographical order let's say if i have the string let's say 2 23 okay or 24 let's say if i have a string let's say 24 if I delete this 2, then I have to insert 3 somewhere. And if I insert 3 here or here, it will be increasing the lexicographical order of this particular string. That is bad. So, it means that I should not be deleting out the smallest number. So, the next thing is that I should find out the smallest number among all of them and should not delete that. Because if I delete that, then what's the matter? Because eventually if I delete that, I have to replace it with a much larger number in the lexicographical string. That is bad. So the thing is that I should not leave the smallest number, but somewhat larger than smallest number. Any number that is larger than one, or like in this example, it's larger than one. I can replace that because what I eventually want to use is that I want to somehow bring all the ones together in the very front. If I can bring all the ones in the very front, let's say number of ones is one, two, three. There are three ones. So I should bring all the three ones on the very first. Why? Because then and only if I replace, if I change this one, then I'm like changing out this one and making it a very big number, like another number, that is two. That's bad. But I want to minimize or, or make it low in the lexicographical order. So I should bring this one in the very front. Some, that somehow it becomes the strings that it is go less in the lexicographical order. So I want to bring this one, one and one in the very front. But if I want to bring it very front, I have to delete out numbers. If I delete out numbers, I should be taking this number and putting it in the very back. I hope you get the point. So I should be... And also, let's say if I take a number, it's a 9. If I delete out 9, if I delete out 9, I will insert 9 plus 1, that is 10, and 9. The minimum of 9 plus 10 with 9 equal 9 only. So I will insert 9 only. So if I delete 9, I will be inserting 9 only. And if I insert, let's say, delete 8, then I will insert 9. But like deleting 9 only, it will not cause any effect on it. So what it actually just means out, like if I just encapsulate it all, I just have to bring out the very smallest number among the whole thing. I just have to find out what is the smallest and just bring it in the very front. And all the numbers in between, we have to somehow delete out and make it one one larger and push it to the very back. Got it? So that is the one smallest op observation you can get it to. That let's say what is the minimum of all of them? This is the one. Okay. But let's say there is one, two, two, one, five. Okay. If I did if I delete these two and this two and bring these two ones near, should I delete this five as well? Because if I delete this 5, I will be only increasing the value of this particular. But it is not a benefit way because if I in, like increase this 5 value, then it is not a better way because 
where should I be inserting it? If I, if I inserting it anywhere, it will be like increasing the lecture output string. So I should not be changing out any numbers after the last occurrence. So instead, I should move from very first to very last and just and should break at this particular point, or I should move from the very back to the front. If I should move from very back to the front, I should not be changing any character before the very smallest number if I occur. I hope you get the point till now. It's very complicated. It's not too complicated, but I'm just building out where we want to reach actually. So that's the overall logic here. Now what we'll do is that we'll take this particular string and we'll move from the very back to very front. Now what we'll do is that, and I tell that what is the minimum number I have seen till now from the very back to the very front. So let's say I want to the minimum, minimum, minimum number, I'll inside with a very large number, let's say nine. Okay, then what we'll do is that we'll move from back to front. And then what we'll do is that whether this number is smaller than the minimum number we have seen till now, we have seen till now is nine. Okay. This is smaller. So if it is smaller, I'll just change this number to like minimum with one that I've seen one up till now. This is nine. So this is larger than the minimum number I've seen. So I have to bring this minimum number with the very first. So this is larger. What I'll do is that I have to replace this number. I have to like replace because these numbers are coming in my way. I should bring these smaller numbers in the very front. So if this number are coming in my way, I should replace this number with the number or like this number will be replaced with either S of I plus one comma nine minimum of, of both of them. So every number that is not smaller than the current number, like the uh, minimum we have seen till now, I will replace it with S of I plus one or nine, the minimum of both of them, that is the condition. And I will just replace, so let's say this will stay in nine, this will stay in nine. This is one though, this will stay one. This is, this will stay nine. This will be changed to seven. This will be changed to eight. This will be changed to eight. This will be changed to three. This will be changed to like, it was two, seven will change to three. This will change to six. This will change to eight. This will change to five. This will remain one. This will remain, this will turns out to be four. Now all the numbers are changed, but what you'll actually understand is that after doing all of that, all of this, these ones will come in the very first. And all the other numbers we can manipulate, we can put it in any order because we can like put it in. So the eventual answer is we should sort all the numbers because after sorting out the modified numbers, what we eventually reach is all the ones or the smallest number will come in the very first and all the numbers because I want, like I can place it in any order. I should sort them and they should be like sorted in the lexicography like, so smallest order. So the string that is formed will be the lexicography like, sorted order because it is modified string. Hope you get the point. So that is the overall logic that we have uh, come across. Let's move on to the solution. So that will become more clear to you. So uh, what we have done here is that we have taken this whole string. Okay. This is the minimum that we have encountered till now that is nine. Move from the very first, last to the very front. If the portless string, the S of I character that I'm on, if it is a less than minimum, if it is less than minimum, I'll just change my minimum. I'll not change that portless character. But if it is larger than minimum, what I'll do, I have to replace that because larger than minimum means that I'm taking it out and putting it somewhere else in the whole string. I'll put it later, but I'm just putting it right now because after sorting, it will automatically arrange itself. So S of I will be minimum of the character plus one or nine, whatever is the minimum, I'll just S of I will be replaced with that. And after doing this, all the character that is smaller will not be changed. And all the characters that are not smaller than the, not smaller than the least character will be changed. And the, the character which are not smaller than the least character will be changed, but I have to also sort them out so that it will become like they will come in the end and all the smaller number will come in the very front because we can uh, change the number which is data larger and after we can do the sorting of the whole string and just print it out. That's all the things. So this is O of n login by sorting and this is O of n. So n login is the overall time study for this particular problem. I hope you understand. If you still have any doubts, you can mention in the comment box of this particular problem. Thank you for watching the video till the end. I will see you in the next fantastic voting and bye.